Welcome everyone to day three of the Boost Your Energy Naturally Challenge. I'm so pleased to see that you're still with me and I hope you're following along with the guide, ticking all the boxes, and I hope you're feeling a little more energized after the first two days. So I am hoping that this morning also, that you've already jumped in, had a nice big drink of water, done a little bit of movement, started to get that energy flowing, um, and you've got a little reminder set somewhere for you to do it again this afternoon when you start to feel that energy slump. So let's jump into day three. And day three, we're going to chat about sleep. So sleep enhances energy, and we probably all know this, but do you truly appreciate and acknowledge, the, the, acknowledge this knowledge? And how? So how does sleep actually enhance our energy? So when we sleep, our body is resetting. Imagine that it's recalibrating. So all of the body systems, digestive systems, hormones, emotional state, all of those are being recalibrated during night, plus many more other systems within us. So all of those are recalibrating during the night. If each night you're not getting enough sleep, then only half or say three quarters of those hormones are being recalibrated. And then if each night you're sleeping less and a little bit less, you're just topping up and not quite topping up to 100% of each of those systems. So this can leave your body feeling depleted in all of those various systems or even worse, in a deficit. So overall, long-term health is really crucial um, and reliant on quality, quality and enough sleep. So if you imagine sleep as a maintenance for the body, you would take your car to get maintenance, you'd find a good mechanic to maintain your car, you're going to fuel it properly. So you need to make sure you're finding quality sleep for yourself. You spend more time within this body than you do sitting in your car. So it's important. So how might, we, how might we incorporate the oils and how and why would we incorporate the oils into our sleep patterns? So certain oils such as um, lavender, for example, um, bergamot, um, are rich in linalool and linalool acetate. So these are renowned for their sleep and relaxation benefits. So using oils such as these can really help to enhance um, the quality of sleep that we're getting, as well as helping us to actually fall asleep. So as part of the challenge, um, you are going to, if you're using the oils, dab some frankincense and lavender if you have the starter kit, um, lavender or any other similar oils um, that you might choose to use if you have others. And simply by putting a couple of drops on the hand, taking a nice big breath in before you get ready for bedtime. You could pop this in the diffuser so that's gonna have a lasting effect throughout the night. Um, and you could put it in before you go to bed. So this is gonna help the body to start to relax and wind down in the late afternoon. So I do this around our home. We use lavender or lavender piece. Pop it in the diffuser later in the afternoon um, to really start the kids to wind down and for myself as well to wind down and know, for the body to know that it's almost bedtime. Now, we're gonna team this with a couple of other points that you might only choose one to go ahead with, um, but these are definitely crucial for getting quality and quality and enough sleep. So firstly, technology. I'm sure you knew this was gonna be coming along, but we need to limit screen time. So shutting down screen time, ideally two hours before bedtime. And if that's not quite um, feasible for you to do, then you're going to start with half an hour and then work down to an hour and work up to as long as you can. Sorry, noises. So then you're gonna work up to um, that couple of hours before. So you're gonna switch off screen time, pick up a good book, have a read, wind down, talk to people in your family, and this is gonna help um, the brain to switch off and get ready for bedtime. As well as um, stopping the suppression of natural hormones like melatonin, our sleep hormone, um, which occurs when we're using screens. So we're gonna work on switching off screen time a couple of hours before bedtime. So 
That is your task for tonight. We're gonna switch off screen time. Those using the oils are gonna use a couple of the sleepy oils um, to have a nice big smell, to pop in the diffuser, and even still you can pop some on the temples or the back of the neck. I keep a roller bottle handy next to the bed in case they wake up during the night too, so I can just pop some on the back of the neck then. Excellent, that's it, so easy. So, you've got three tasks now. We're gonna have a beautiful sleep tonight. We're gonna really start to wind down. Pop an alarm on the phone for bedtime. I've got mine set um, for eight o'clock, so if I haven't got ready for um, bedtime by eight o'clock, I've got that ding that's gonna remind me to head to bed as well. So, having a routine bedtime, um, winding down nicely without technology, adding the oils if you can, it's gonna give us a great sleep tonight. You're gonna wake up tomorrow, nice big drink of water, some gentle movements, and you'll be feeling energized in no time. Don't forget to fill in your book and uh, tag us on social media, so hashtag boost your energy naturally challenge. And I've gone over the five minutes, I'm sorry guys, and I will talk to you tomorrow.